Here's Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. And with Christmas being on Friday this week, I thought I would bring you the Inspiration Friday project a little early because I know we all want to spend the holidays with our family. So, but one thing I really wanted to share with you guys is I have really discovered sublimation this past year and I've done a few tutorials on some of the different substrates that you can sublimate on. But today, I really want to show you about license plates. And one of the reasons is I've been having fun with it for Christmas. So this is a sublimated blank for a license plate. And this is an example of one that I did for my husband. He loves having his old car on a license plate. So I want to show you today how to make this, whoops, this turn into this. So stay tuned, I'll get my camera angle change and we will be right over at my heat press today. But before I go there, you guys, as I say every time, thanks so much for joining me. I so appreciate your support. And if it's the first time you've stopped by my channel, please click on the subscribe button and support my channel. And if you click on that bell, YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new tutorial. My YouTube channel is all about inspiring you guys to try new things. So today I'm trying to inspire you guys to make some custom license plates. So give me a second, get my camera angle change and we'll get making. Hey crafters, let's get ready and work on this project. So I have been having so much fun with sublimation and I've done lots of Christmas gifts that I thought it would be a great idea to put together a quick tutorial on how you can sublimate on license plates. Now my husband absolutely loves the license plates because we've got some old custom cars and so I've done some sublimation on those. But for this Christmas, what I've been doing for some of my great nieces and nephews is doing signs with their names on it. So um, what a cute idea to give um, for a gift. And then we also have a teacher in the family. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to put together a sign that said distance learning in process, and this could be put on outside the door. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now another idea is I'm gonna open up my door here and I will show you what I have on the outside of my door. And it is kind of hard to see here, but it says my fun stuff crafts sign. So all kinds of different things that you could put on a, um, on a license plate. So these license plates, um, I will put a link down below. Um, they are already have a sublimation um, finish on them and then they're just completely metal on the back. And so what I like to do is I use Canva for a lot of my designs. So I've already, there goes my heat press, it's all ready to go. So I've already done a design. Now um, I've printed this in mirror image and it says in progress distance learning and then a little shh there. And so I always like to make my designs larger than my plate. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to take this design, I'm going to tape on my plate so it's face down, and then we're going to put it in the press. So let's go ahead and angle this just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Working on, on my workspace here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my sign and I am going to measure it up right where I want it to be, okay? And then I'm gonna add some heat transfer tape to it. And I'll show you exactly what this looks like when I get it done. I know my camera angle is not the best. Okay, so I have got my heat transfer tape right on my designs here. And you can see my design is definitely bigger and that way I've got full coverage, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my heat press and I've already got a piece of parchment paper. I use that for what people refer to as blowout paper. So my parchment paper is there. I'm gonna put my design um, face down 
with my uh, license plate face up and I've made sure that I, and I've done it before you guys, I'm making sure that I'm supplementing on the right side, okay? So it's the white side that's in there. My design is down and I'm gonna put it right on my press, okay? And then I like to use a Teflon sheet over the top of mine and I'll put a link to that down below also. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna engage my press. One trick I want to show you guys though, um, well, let's go ahead and engage the press and then what we'll do is um, I'll talk to you about this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my press down. It is at 400 degrees for 150 seconds. A trick I learned though, you guys, is I have just a composition notebook and I've been keeping notes of all the different heat settings, okay? So I went right in here. I know my 11 by five um, license plates are face down 400 degrees, 150 seconds. So I found that this book is really helpful for me because I buy sublimation blanks from lots of different places. And so this way I can put it there. Or the other idea is a lot of times when I buy the blanks, they actually have a sheet in there that gives um, um, the heat settings, and I'll just go ahead and add that. Or I have a little drawer here, and I just keep everything right in my drawer. So while we're waiting for that to get done, one thing I always like to have um, ready to go when my um, license plate is done is something to set it on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my hot pads right here over to the side. And then the other thing is, you guys, you always want to have your, your um, heat um, sensitive gloves available because remember, we're heating this at 400 degrees, which is really hot. And so that metal's going to be really hot. So I'm ready to go for as soon as my buzzer goes off. So we'll give it a second here and I'll join you back as soon as my um, um, timer goes off. Okay, my timer's just about ready to go off. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the press and let's reveal how our license plate turned out. So again, you guys, it's really hot. Even my Teflon sheet is hot. So I'm gonna put that off to the side there and I'll bring this out. And you guys, this is why you do burnout because you can see it came across on my sheet. You wanna protect your pad. Then I'm going to go ahead and just take off my sign and look how cute this sign came out. So we can put some string through it if we want to hang it on the door or we can put some type of command hook on it. But just think of the ideas that you can do with these license plates. Now, Remember, my husband absolutely loves the ones with our custom cars on it, and that is definitely a great idea. But think about all the different sayings that you can do with these license plates. So I'd love to see what you guys do with license plates. Um, make sure you um, um, tag me on any of your social media channels, and thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. And here's a close-up view of that custom car one I did for my husband and the one we did today. I sure hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday on how to supplement on a license plate. There's so many great ideas. And if you're looking for more inspiration on projects, check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.